This is Rock and Roll English. Real people, real English. Here's your host, Martin Johnson. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English. Episode number 229, baby. Oh yeah. In today's episode, I speak to Clarification Charlie. Remember her? She is back. And we speak about being organized or maybe not being organized. For example, I am recording the intro to this podcast on Sunday night at 10 p.m. whilst everyone is sleeping, which is why I'm not talking so loud. You might notice me doing that in the podcast as well, because I had to record the podcast with Clarification Charlie again late at night when kids are sleeping. So yes, here is our conversation about being organized or maybe not being organized. I hope you enjoy it. I will talk to you again at the end. Happy listening. Clarification, Charlie, how are you today? I'm very well. Thank you, Martin. How are you? Always fantastic. Always fantastic. Even more fantastic. You are now here back by popular demand. I have had a few listeners saying, where the hell is Clarification, Charlie? And do you know what I respond to that? I say, she's got kids. <laughs> She has two kids, full-time yeah, job. Exactly. Not, yeah. yeah, not thought for herself. <laughs> mm. In fact, this is actually a bit of a problem now that all like people involved in the podcast, friends, they're being really selfish and keep having kids. Even Boom Boom's got one on the way now. So um, Aww, the bloody, they're all just so selfish, aren't they? Having these kids and leaving me in the lurch for no one to Aww. make podcasts with. Um, what a beautiful yeah. baby Boom Boom will have as well. I've Aww. got no doubt about that. But um, we have just spent probably the last hour moaning yeah. about our kids. <laughs> um, so, in fact, normally when you're on the podcast, I see it's a good opportunity to talk about kids. But I thought, you know what? You're better than that, clarification <laughs> child. You've got more to offer. You're not, you're not just a mum. You've got more to offer, haven't you? Thank you. Yeah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to try and not talk about kids today. Okay. I'm, I'm sure we probably will, but um, we'll try not to. But anyway, it's been a long time. Do you remember how we start the show? With a review. Yes. Do you think we have a review? I want to say yes. Well, I would say yes, but with an asterisk next to it. Okay. So asterisk, Ooh. like the little star thing, which means mm -hmm. like, yes, but... Um, because we have been really, really thin on the ground for reviews recently. Come on, so people! I, exactly. So we are kind of bending the rules here. So this is a this is a podcast review. Someone left me on LinkedIn. Normally we only do it from like iTunes and Facebook, but LinkedIn is still a review, still there on the internet. Because this is the thing: some people send me an email and say like, "Use this as a review," but I always say, "But only I can see it. It needs to be on the internet." so yeah. that people can see it. I think I mentioned this last week, actually, about how it's like when you're a teenager, if you tell someone you had sex with a girl, like you, you need evidence of that. You need to like people to see you going home with her. You can't just <laughs> tell people, okay? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, so that's it, okay? So there is evidence on the internet, okay? Um, and it's from Nadia. And it says, this is a message for all non-native English speakers who sometimes struggle to understand natives. I feel you. We've all been there. It's not a great feeling. I know only one way to improve it. You need to listen a lot. The great thing about it is that when it can be enjoyable and you can just listen to things you like. Years ago, I discovered oh. rock and roll English where Martin Johnston talks to his friends about everyday life topics. Martin and his friends are funny and real people. Listening to them feels like you are listening to your friends. It doesn't feel like education at all but it works. In a nutshell, I would recommend Rock and Roll English to everybody who wants to improve their British English listening skills. Oh, oh. What, a, what a review that is, hey? Thank you, Nadia. That is amazing. Exactly. Absolutely and amazing. It is on the internet for people that want to check it. It's not just me reading. Like, I didn't write that myself. It's no. on the internet. People can read it. Um, so, yes, you need to Thank be you. like 2007 and make that your Facebook status or something, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you have to do it in third part, third person as sure. well. Because what was it? You would say like Martin 
Johnston is, and then you would have oh, to say, yeah. like, Martin Johnston is feeling tired or something like yes. that, talking about yourself in third person. Very strange. Oh, I remember that. Relationship yeah. status. It's always complicated, <laughs> isn't it? It's complicated. <laughs> That is the most crazy thing in the world, isn't it? The, I, I always remember someone I know, obviously not someone you talk to, someone you went to school with, yeah. had their relationships status and was constantly changing it to like, it's complicated in a relationship. So obviously. it was like, we've had an argument, I better tell everyone and just change my relationship status Hello. to it's complicated. Okay, thank you. Sure. And thank poking, you. poke people. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. And then yeah. I remember someone was like, can we just stop all this poking and just have sex? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, I didn't know. That, that's very sort of direct, isn't it? Yeah. There are people and out there. <laughs> the I actually remember because sort of having a Facebook tutorial with a friend of ours at university. And I said to him, what is this poke? If you poke someone, what does that mean? And he said to me, it means you want to have sex with them. <laughs> Yeah, so basically <laughs> who knew hey i was like oh wow bloody hell <laughs> hello <laughs> yeah i obviously i didn't receive any pokes ever but sure <laughs> i'm sure you were inundated with pokes clarification no. charlie I, I certainly wasn't um, oh, no. but still it's not too late if anyone wants to poke me okay Quite. is it still yeah. a function i hope so i'm gonna poke I, you I'm tonight not, i'm not 100 percent <laughs> sure actually um but so we are we need to start this podcast at some point we haven't even moved Sorry. to the topic yet so the Sorry. topic okay <laughs> the topic always sort of connected to something happened in my life in fact only this morning clarification charlie gave me the absolute confirmation yes we're on for tonight and at that point I just sort of run out of the door and I thought god how I'm just not organized at all so I thought we could do a podcast about being organized okay <laughs> and like to see if we're organized just having a chat about being Brilliant. organized okay sure um, because le- this morning actually I, um, I had to take the train at 8 29 kind of lost track of time yeah realized i was still in the shower at 8 16 so then i had 13 minutes to have breakfast brush my teeth get dressed cycle to the station and get on the train which i managed to do um i actually bought my bought my train ticket on my phone while cycling um nearly killed about 10 people on the way um and when i got on the train it's like (laughs) sitting next to someone just like wearing a shirt and tie going going to his sort of finance job in London, sort of mid fifties, and then I got on and was like going <gasps> I could could not breathe and was like fucking dripping with sweat. <laughs> You're the people they move to avoid. Yeah. Like, oh, who's this yeah, weirdo? I, I think like everyone basically was looking at me like fucking you know, like yeah, someone gets on the train and everyone's thinking, Oh God. Um I think that was the situation with me. Brilliant. Um, so I've got some conversation questions here about being organised. Okay. Oh, so no. the, the first one, from memory, um, clarification, Charlie is very much similar to me. But we'll see about this. So yeah. um, one about a schedule. Okay. Oh, so God. do you do you have a schedule? Like, do you like plan things or like a schedule for every day? absolutely not (laughs) no I've only just learned to put things in my calendar on my phone Mm. like only in the last month so the the thing is about that so I well I have been doing that for like work related things especially when I was just doing rock and roll English like lessons and stuff but for like social things do you put social things in your calendar your google calendar do you do that yeah, I have it on my iPhone. Right. But, okay. Um, as proven in um some things that have happened in the last couple of weeks, I don't always I forget to check. Mm. And so sometimes <laughs> I forget I'm supposed to be somewhere. I, I do the good thing of I, I put it in the calendar. Right. But unless you look at the calendar, you don't <laughs> you don't know, do you? So <laughs> I've done I've done what? that a few times as well. 
Oh, brilliant. What I would suggest there is get notifications on your phone. So I get a notification What? 30 minutes before the event to say, for example, in 30 minutes, this is happening. But what I do is I forget to put it in the calendar. So, uh... for example, on um, Monday, for example, I got a message from a student saying, I thought we had a lesson that was starting 10 minutes ago. And I was like, oh shit um and said to like mrs r and r like oh can you go and pick up the children because <laughs> i kind of forgot i've got a lesson so that's what i do i just yeah. forget to put it in the calendar sometimes but yeah and also social things i don't know i just think what a sad life if we need to like schedule social things in a calendar so i, d I don't like to do that and i'll tell you what one thing i have noticed You don't, in, have any, you don't get invited to anything? Also <laughs> true. Also very true. <laughs> you know what? As well, I actually don't like being invited to things because that means I've got to go out with yeah. my family and that will be a nightmare. So I prefer to not be invited to things. So if, if anyone's thinking of inviting me, just don't. Don't, yeah, don't do just, it. <laughs> And I've, I've, we mentioned this, I can't remember when on a podcast, but if I've got plans and the other person has to cancel, that's the best thing in the world, oh, I, love I that. think. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I don't have to go out. Bloody yeah, brilliant. Exactly. So, um, yeah, that happens to me a lot. But, yeah, something I've noticed in the UK, I'm not sure if this is a thing since COVID, but you have to fucking book everything. So, for example, yeah. we wanted to go swimming the other day, okay? Mm -hmm. I say we obviously just to get the kids doing something sure. and then so we went there and they were like what are you doing you need you need to book so like, you need, I need to book a fucking swimming session you can't so when i was a kid you just go swimming it was just yeah. open all day and you just turn up and you go and you, but now you have to book a session yeah i know it's you have to book everything if for us down here you have to book the soft play so i think <laughs> it's like certain yeah. hours you book a session and then you turn up at that time <laughs> but yeah and Yeah, that's the worst thing. Yeah, said we weren't going to talk about kids, but having a time to be somewhere with kids is the worst thing in the world. So that's why I don't like the booking because that's pressure. That immediate that immediately is pressure for me. So I don't like that. I like to just to be just go when you want. But that that is not how when the you world want works. when you want or <laughs> when you're able to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and and the other thing is you you might book the session and then. You know, the kids have a meltdown. You don't even go. So you've paid yeah. for it and you don't even go. So, um, yeah. but so um, moving on anyway. So here's here's an organization question. Do you often lose things like keys <laughs> or like purse, phone? <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I keep find my iPhone in business. Like it is, it is a running joke in the Clarification Charlie household about how much I lose my phone mm. and the keys. Mm. And then my husband's always like, oh, there's no, Mr. Clarification Charlie's like, there's no, um, there's no house keys. And I'm like, well, what do you want me to do about it? And he's like, you were the last one with the last three sets. And I'm like, well, I, I don't know. I don't know where they are. They're in my coat or in my bag or mm. somewhere. So he then has to spend the entire time going around searching for said items. Um mm. Yeah, yes. I, I I totally feel you with that. Um, keys is is my worst one. F phone, I feel I take most places with, which probably isn't a good thing. So I yeah. take it everywhere. And if it's, I feel like if I don't know where my phone is for like a minute, I kind of think like, yeah. oh, what's going on? Um, so it's very rare I lose the phone, but the keys, my god. Um, so again, the other day, getting ready to go out, like. The kids are now ready that, you know, finally you're about to walk out the door. Mm. And then it's like, where are my keys? Because the bike, I've locked the bike outside. I need the keys to unlock the bike. And it's like, oh, shit. I don't know where the keys Lit are. No idea. <laughs> Honestly, it's a nightmare. Um, I'm going to have to spend ages. But the other thing I get is what happened to me that day, which made me feel a little bit better, was... They were in my daughter's kitchen in her little oven. So she'd obviously put them in there. Um, Brilliant. It was, it was like baking my keys, obviously. Um, of course. So, so that's an added difficulty when you've got kids actually hiding them. But that also does work where 
because Mrs. R and R will often get angry with me of like, like, how have you lost your keys again? And I'll say, well, it must have been the kids. Like, <laughs> it, it, I, I also find that good as well for farts. So if you do a fart, like whilst before without kids, it's like you just farted. Whilst now it was, it's just like, nah, it wasn't me. It was one of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you can always use that one. Um, or the dog. That's where you've got to get a dog. Oh, God. I, mean, I forget that. So you've got two kids and a dog. I know. It's, I know. So, but I must admit, when I talk to you, it's your voice. Like, I notice something in your voice. It seems like you love the dog more than the kids. <laughs> it's because he's easier. That's why. <laughs> So much easier. He's really old. He's really slow. It's fine. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So when the kids are old and slow, it will be great. Absolutely. Um, Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I lose honestly I lose things all the time. Yeah. It's it's yeah. ridiculous. But I I put it down to one with my phone. I don't have pockets on a lot of my items of clothing. So I can't okay. put it in a pocket. Mm. So it's in my hand. Plus I'm always doing about 10 different things at once whilst responding to various requests whilst also thinking (laughs) mentally about everything I have to do and so I just I don't even like think or consider what I'm doing and I put stuff down and then it's gone Mm -hmm. so I I, I'm the same um so moving on so are you always on time (laughs) um no um I try I really do Mm. try and actually I used to be really good but Mr Clarification Charlie is not he's quite (laughs) laid back Mm. and for him time's just a number you know it's yeah work-wise I I am but when it comes to social things Mm. we are delayed (laughs) yeah see yeah it's similar to me again so so if it's if it's just me going there, for example, this morning, I had to get that train at 8.29 and there's just something inside of me which does not let me be late. Like I, I will move at the speed of light to be there on time. Just something happens. I've got some kind of superpower yeah. of like, so I will be there on time. Like I may get there like as in like I'm about to have a heart attack like this morning, but I will be there on time. But yeah, if it's if I'm going out with the family and I think like you, my partner, uh, Mrs. R and R um, isn't the best. She likes she likes to think that she is, and there is nothing more annoying in the world for me. Of like, you have yeah. to be somewhere, and the other person isn't in a rush. Like, I think that we need we need to be here at one o'clock. Yeah. Like, so you need to be kind of like jumping out the window now. Yeah. That's what I would do yeah. to be here. And then when I see, if I see someone just casually walking down the stairs, yeah. my God, I am yeah. it's. I, I I can't I can't handle it. Mr. Um, Clarification Charlie has an issue with like turning up to anywhere like a little bit early as well. So he like, what would be the point in being somewhere five minutes early? Because he's like, well, it could be that could be five minutes more at, at home. And his his other turn of phrase is, if you only leave it to the last minute, it only takes the last minute. So, <laughs> I mean, I can see some truth in that. I suppose it's kind of like with so certainly with actually one of the questions like so when you were in school or when we were at university like when would you like you know you've got to do something for friday you've got to hand something in on friday at three o'clock when would you finish that uh see i would sometimes finish it a bit earlier but i wouldn't trust that it's finished and so this is where I got, I've become unstuck in many things, whether it's an essay or whether it's packing. I'll be like, oh, start packing like a couple of days before. But I might forget what I've packed or in an essay, like what I've written. And then I'm like, well, I've kind of forgotten. So then I start like undoing things or like redoing things. And I suppose by Mr. Clarification Charlie's response, if I'd only left it to the last minute, it would have only taken 10 minutes. But instead, it's taken me several days and a lot of confusion mm. so see see that that's where i can see the logic because that's what, what i do so if i have to do that essay friday at three o'clock i will start that at like friday at two o'clock and i will write non-stop and i'll finish that at 2 59 and i will send it but it will be there on time so in fact with my 
like master's degree that I'm doing, I've literally had an essay every week to hand in for the last six months. And the reason I'm using that time is because that's been the deadline every yeah. week. And every week, like, so three o'clock is the deadline. And the, probably the earliest I've handed that in is like 2.30. <laughs> like, but every week it has been on time. Um, probably not done to the highest standard to the best yeah. of my abilities i would say i definitely cut corners there so cut sure. corners obviously i mean you, you do it you're doing it just kind of like not to the best quality taking yeah. any shortcut you can but it's done yes and no and no one can say otherwise um but okay here's one do you use any apps or any do you have any like organization <laughs> things like productivity things no <laughs> do you not like me and technology as i think you are <laughs> aware of are um we don't we don't have the best relationship <laughs> and so myself and apps just aren't really well used like i said i've only just started to use the calendar on my <laughs> and you, phone and, you and you've just you've just told you've just told me about notifications <laughs> like i'm looking this up after this podcast by the way yeah that... like, i'm getting mr clarification charge to show me because that must be how he knows all the time because he's always <laughs> like oh you the kid you and the kids of the dentist today and i'm like how do you know so he's yeah. obviously looked on his calendar mm-hmm. or well, yeah, got a notification yeah, so, so you can <laughs> you can, sounds mental but you can look at your calendar before um <laughs> Okay, so we are going to stop the conversation there. If you want to listen to the rest of the conversation and the family chit chat pod, remember the family chit chat pod are, is the one where we talk about things not safe for the public domain. Lots of really nice stories there now for yeah i won't go into detail but believe me there are lots of really nice stories there so yes if you would like to listen to the full episode the rock and roll english family chit chat episode and also 1000 extra episodes go to rock and roll english.com click become a member and then you will find all the information you need there so let's have a look at the vocabulary from today's pod when i said at the beginning of the podcast my friends are so selfish because they keep having children clarification charlie said yes they blimmin well are this is a lovely term they blimmin well are it's not a swear word obviously this blimmin blimming um it's just a lovely term to say yes they really really are lovely lovely vocabulary and then i said yes they're leaving me in the lurch by having kids so if you leave someone in the lurch you stop helping them so my friends were always helping me making these podcasts now they've all got kids they don't want to help me anymore that's life isn't it i mentioned how we have been very thin we had been very thin on the ground for reviews until today so if you are thin on the ground that means you don't have a lot of that thing i also said to clarification charlie i'm sure you were inundated with poke so inundated means you had lots of them so many you didn't know what to do with all of these pokes on facebook i mentioned my kids having a meltdown so kids having a meltdown especially a toddler when like you try to make dinner and they say no i want the blue plate you give them the blue one no i want the red one and that's basically a meltdown and when everything is just a disaster clarification charlie said her losing her phone is a running joke so a running joke is a joke you make continuously because this thing keeps happening she also then said then when i'm searching for said item so that's a lovely way to say To avoid using my phone again. So she said, when I'm searching for said item, the thing we are talking about. She also said, I put it down to the fact that I don't have pockets. So if you put it down to the fact, it means it's because of this. It's because I don't have pockets, I think. Anyway, she mentioned how Mr. Clarification Charlie is very laid back, very relaxed. And his turn of phrase is if you only leave it to the last minute it only takes a minute so this turn of phrase is something that someone says that kind of makes them stand out from everyone else because for example that's not a common thing to say but in my opinion a very intelligent thing to say and i mentioned how if you need to hand something in by 3 p.m like a essay something for school or university so to hand something in that's what you do when 
you know, they say you must finish this before this time. You have to hand it in before then. I mentioned as well, I mentioned how I definitely cut corners when I'm writing an essay because I leave it to the last minute. So then I think I don't do it to my maximum capabilities, let's say. I cut corners, I take shortcuts and do it in the quickest way possible in the end. So that's it for the vocabulary. You can find a list of this written on the website rockandrollenglish.com. Click podcast and you'll find it all there. Thanks a lot for listening. I will see you very soon. But in the meantime, just keep on rocking, baby. Thanks so much for listening to Rock and Roll English. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit rockandrollenglish.com and facebook.com slash rockandrollenglish. We'll catch you next time.